Initially, I was planning on going to a different community college before I came here. I was planning on going to ICC, and my parents wanted me to just come tour here to look at the options before, it was a week before the semester had started. And we went to admissions, and Miss Georgie gave us a tour, and she gave me a sheet of paper that had all the things that Northeast offered, and I didn't know what drafting was, so I circled it, and I circled all the things I was interested in. So she took me around and had me talk to all the instructors, and I came here and met Mr. Melson, and it was like a huge burden had lifted off of me, because as a senior in high school, I didn't know what I wanted to do, and I didn't know where I was supposed to go, I didn't know what I was being called to do, and so it was really a hard couple of months after I graduated, and after I came here and figured out what drafting was, I was just like I knew, like immediately, I was like, this is where I'm supposed to be. And so I've loved every minute of it. I haven't regretted any of it. And the, part of the reason why I chose drafting was because I am not very medically minded and I'm not very mathematically minded. I'm kind of in the middle. And all my brothers, I told you I have a lot of siblings, five of my brothers are engineers or headed towards engineering. My dad's an electrical engineer. My mom was a nurse and all my sisters did exercise science. And so I went over to radiology because I thought that was what I was going to be interested in. And when I met with that instructor, I knew within like five minutes that that's not where I wanted to be because I can't do needles. I passed out twice trying to give somebody a shot the other day. It was awful. But anyway, so we came here and I saw a lot of opportunity for creativity with this program. And you don't have to be extremely mathematically minded because a lot of that's given to you, but you can still use a lot of creativity with this. And the options are really broad when you graduate because you can use drafting to design anything. So I love the Tiger Apprenticeship because the Tiger Apprenticeship gives you an opportunity to get a career and get a job before you've even graduated. And when I toured the college when I came first, I was working at a restaurant. And the possibility of getting a job that teaches me and trains me in what I'm learning in school really excited me and it made me drawn towards this program as well. And so the apprenticeship sends out your resume and the skills that you're working on to different companies and they offer you interviews and you get to pick which company you want to apply for and, and you know interview with. And so it's a really great opportunity to get students into the workforce and getting very valuable experience through drafting. And a couple of weeks into the first semester, I got an opportunity to work at Williams Sonoma, and it's a furniture manufacturing company, and I was working with research and development, and they used AutoCAD, they used SolidWorks, which are the two main softwares that I'm learning here, and I was doing a lot of projects at work that helped me with what I was learning at school and vice versa. And so it was very beneficial for me to work there. And I got a second internship three weeks ago, and I was very hesitant to switch and transfer. I had to talk it over with Mr. Melson for a long time, and he had to convince me to switch because I didn't want to leave my job where I was because it was so good. And I had some great coworkers and some lifelong friends that I've made there that I'm, they're going to have a hard time getting rid of me. And so I'm now working at VEI, which is a medical design company, and they design machines that inspect implants that go into your body, so like screws and hip joints and kneecaps and stuff like that, anything dental. And it's very exciting to be able to have adult responsibilities at my age and be able to be exposed to different personality types in the workforce and you know just learn something different. I've got two very diverse internships that I've been able to have through the Tiger Apprenticeship, so it's really great. Another opportunity that I've had through drafting is I've had the opportunity to serve as the Student Government Association's Vice President, and that has exposed me to a lot of different people that I've gotten to know that I've really enjoyed, a lot of different projects I've gotten to work on for the school, and it's not so big of a responsibility that I'm not able to focus on work or school. So they're very aware of the responsibilities that I already have there. And I've also been able to serve as an active member in Phi Theta Kappa. And so I'm a part of that. And I'm also the vice president of the SGA. So those are two big things that I've really enjoyed doing. And both of them are very, I mean, they look good on your resume, but they're not every week working on something. I think to be involved every week, you have to be an officer in Phi Theta Kappa. So I've had the opportunity to meet 
Mr. Ricky Ford, and that was something I really enjoyed doing. And just doing different crafts for them. I've gotten to paint a lot of different posters and Halloween stuff, and I've really enjoyed both of those things. The thing, I guess, that really I like most about it is Mr. Melson because he is so involved with the student body, and he's so, anytime any of us need help, he's always there for us. He's always going to drop what he's doing and walk with us down the hall and talk it out. Mm -hmm. And there was one day I was really concerned about where I was going to transfer to. I still don't know, but he just helped me work through the stress of me figuring out what I wanted to do with my ambitions to do certain things in my like going to the military. I've, I have a desire to serve in the military when I graduate and hopefully go in as an officer. And my parents are not super for that because I'm a baby girl of the family and they're really concerned about me. And so I had to talk him through why I was stressed about it and all that. And it was just a really great conversation that I remember leaving feeling so relieved. And that has happened so many times. He's just, he's been there for us. And that's what I love about Northeast because if I had have come for that tour on my first day and Miss Georgie hadn't have been there to give me that sheet to take me on that golf cart and drive me around to see everyone, I wouldn't have known about drafting. I wouldn't have known about radiology and how I didn't want to do that really. I thought I wanted to, but I didn't know what all was involved with that. And so if it hadn't been for the great help from the admissions and the help from Miss Carrie Cobb and Jennifer Hastings and Mr. Melson, I would not be where I am right now. That's clear to me. Um, Northeast has a great, they do a great job at helping their students and being involved with their student body and making it personal and not just seeing us as a number. And that's what I love about Northeast. That's what drew me here when I toured is that they're very concerned about their students. And I've, I have had countless life-changing conversations with my instructor and with the counselor here. And it's been very, very helpful to have them around. We've had several um, companies come and talk to our class and we've had past students that have come and talked about their successes through what they've done and how they've used their drafting degree. And that's been very helpful to see what am I going like where am I going to be in two years or three years down the road, and how has this student benefited from what we've talked about in class? And so that's been very helpful to have past students come and visit, and they haven't been asked to do that. They just stop by because of how great Mr. Melson is. They want to come back and see him. And so um, we've also had different companies come and talk about what they do, and that's been very helpful to see what our options are. And there are so many, it's so broad, because I'm very indecisive. I, I have a hard time committing to something long term if I don't know exactly what I'm getting into. And drafting has such a broad opportunity for career options once you graduate that it made it easier for me to pick drafting as opposed to all the other things. Um, because it gets into construction, it gets into architecture, it gets into civil work. Um, you can use it for making guitars, making cars, anything you can think of. You can use drafting. It's, it's design. And so it helps to know a little bit about what you're designing before you start designing something or doing drafting documents or something. And that's something that I've struggled with with my internships a little bit because I've never sat down and built a piece of furniture. I've never sat down and built a machine that's supposed to inspect parts. But because I'm an intern, my coworkers know that I don't know how to do those things and they teach me how to do those things. And so it's been very helpful to, that's another reason why I like the internship so much because uh, the employees there help you out with anything you don't know. And they kind of grow you through the company and if you want to stay there you can, if not then there's no pressure to stay there. I think a lot of students don't know what they want to do. It's rare that you find a high school graduate that knows exactly what they want to do with their life. And I was one of those. I didn't know where I was headed. I knew my likes and dislikes. I knew what I was interested in. But one thing I would tell a student is if you want to be successful, if you want to be in an environment where you have help all around you if you need it, drafting is where you need to be. Because the people here in this building, not just Mr. Melson, he's a very big influence and a big help to us students. But people throughout you know, the other instructors here the tech programs are very good at 
being involved with their students and making them successful and putting them in the workforce, getting them experienced, having life conversations about not just school but anything they're concerned with at all. If, if that's the kind of environment you like, you should come to drafting because um, drafting has, it's just, I, I can't think of anything negative about it. So um, yeah, there's, no, there's nothing I don't like about drafting. My experience here, there's nothing I don't, there's nothing I've been, I've had a bad experience with, I guess. And maybe that's why y'all picked me to interview, but I don't know. There have been other students that don't like some of the construction classes, because I never grew up around construction. A lot of the girls that come into this program, I don't think, are headed towards construction, but it's helpful to learn the concepts in those classes about how to estimate costs and how to survey land and if you ever have your own property surveyed, you know. And so I have a very teachable spirit. I have a very, I, I'm eager to learn wherever I go. And so I've really enjoyed all the classes that have been a part of this. I think some of the guys enjoy the construction more. But for a potential student, if it's not where you're supposed to be, the Lord's obviously going to lead you where you're supposed to be. But if it is the drafting, then I'm very excited for you because it's been, it's a blast. And it's not, it's not something you can coach through and get by without working. You have to work for it. But it's also, it, you learn through your work. It's not just hard work for nothing, you know? I mean, it, everything is headed towards a purpose. Everything we, that Mr. Melson teaches us has a purpose behind it. He never does anything just for the sake of doing it, just to give us a hard time or to, to you know, make us miserable. I've had some really bad teachers in the past, and <laughs> Mr. Melson is not one of them. Because construction is male-dominated, that gives the women an advantage because diversity is something that's pretty big right now, and a lot of companies are looking for diverse, diversity, and they're looking for women to kind of even it out. And so I've had several opportunities and offers from different companies just because they wanted a girl draft swimmer. Some people look for specific genders and races and stuff like that. And so that's not a bad thing at all for a girl to be in construction. That's actually a very good, that's, that's gonna benefit the girl in the long run because um, as a non-traditional student, that's who employers are looking to hire. So that's, that's just what I've noticed from what I've seen with what companies want. And so it's, in my opinion, the best program in Northeast, but that's just because I'm in it. Um, I've heard of different students, and I have several friends in different, doing different things here. And I just hear a lot of complaints about different subjects. I hear a lot of complaints about homework, about school. And it's sad for me to hear from students that aren't enjoying their time at college because I've enjoyed every bit of the past two years here and I'm very very blessed to be where I am um, I, it's just it's sad to me that some students complain a lot about homework it's pretty much all the only thing I hear about school is just people complain about it a lot um, I don't it's difficult because you have to apply yourself and you have to set aside things you want to do to be able to get your stuff done. But if you're diligent and you're disciplined and you want to learn, you want to work, and you want to think about your life in the long term, drafting has done a very good job at setting you up for long-term success. Um, we talk about finances in here. I'm sure Mr. Melson's told you about his Dave Ramsey class. That has helped me so much. It has helped me so much. I never used to budget, and I'm making, I save probably 80% of the money I make because I, I, I still live with my parents. I commute to school, um, and I don't know what to do with my money. I'm just putting it in savings. And his finance class has helped me know how to handle my money, how to know where it's going, and I didn't realize how much finances tie into your character and what kind of person you are and how that affects how you spend your money. And so 
it's been really fun for me. I never thought that I would have liked a finance class. I was kind of dreading it when I found out. Um, I keep, he makes fun of me all the time because I call him Gordon Ramsay because I always forget it's Dave. But Gordon's the cook. So anyway, um, so I knew nothing about drafting. I knew nothing about finances. And here I am. I've got a job, a really good job. Um, I'm about to graduate. And I feel like I have grown so much, not just as a student, but as a person. And that has been a huge blessing for me to be able to to have this time here. And I'm going to cry when I graduate. It's just going to be awful. I don't want to leave. Um, I've grown really close with Mr. Melson and his family. They brought me, I mean, they've brought me so much food, like homemade stuff, just dropped it by. And there was this one day, it was just a hard day, like with homework. And Miss Jenny brought me a slice of her homemade blueberry pie. And it, it, it just, it just, it made my whole day. If y'all haven't had her cooking, y'all are missing out. But anyway, um, so yeah, they're probably going to have a hard time getting rid of me. I'll be back. I'll definitely be back. <laughs>